This feels so weird. This is the first time I've switched the camera on for a very, very long time. Um, I basically, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know, but I had a skin reaction to something like all over my face and my neck. I'm gonna insert some pictures because it was kind of bad. Um, basically, I got to the bottom of it, thanks to you guys on Instagram. There were like so many suggestions, so it kind of could have been anything, but I think it was because I tried this new skincare product that I think had like retinol in it, I wanna say. And me being me, I just put it on, didn't read or think anything about it. And then I like went out in the sun and it reacted like really bad. So yeah, for the past like nearly two weeks now, I haven't been able to like put makeup on. My skin has been so sore, but it has now completely cleared up. Like my skin is back to normal. I've got a little friend here, but that is completely besides the point. Like everything else is absolutely fine. It doesn't feel sore anymore. I can put makeup on. And it's all good. So I'm back to filming. I'm really sorry I've been gone for so long for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for sticking around if you're still here. Um, sorry it has taken me a little while to get back, but yeah, just life got a bit busy and obviously I had that reaction and the last thing I wanted to do was kind of pick up a camera and I'm sure you guys can like appreciate that. But I am back. There is gonna be a lot more hauls, but I also wanna vlog a lot more. Like I miss chatting to you guys like this, like super chilled. Um, I think I'm gonna make this like a couple of days of a vlog because i'm not really doing much today i literally just had my friend over in the garden it's such nice weather at the moment so we just sat outside and had a big old catch up which was very much needed but yeah it was nice to see my friend and um, she bought me some flowers which was so cute i'll insert a clip of those so you can see she bought me some peonies which are literally my favorite i'm so obsessed with them i just think they're like the most beautiful flower and they're in season right now in case you didn't know um but yeah how to catch up with her i now i'm kind of just in catch up mode honestly like i have so much work like so many videos to film so much to catch up on because of my little skin mishap so i'm kind of just doing that so i thought i would just intro the vlog today say hey i have a few moments spare um we are going to go to b and q later to pick up some things we are actually starting the ensuite no not the ensuite the cloakroom downstairs so the little toilet that we have um we're going to be ripping that out very soon and redecorating it so we need to go and pick up some bits for that and i also bought <laughs> i feel like these vlogs like my next few vlogs are probably going to be really rambly and really random just so i can kind of catch you guys up a bit and just like chat to you so i'm really sorry if that's not kind of your thing i am actually going to london next week so i'll vlog that and there'll be like a lot more kind of interesting things going on like things to look at and you guys can kind of follow me and george around london which will be super fun so those vlogs will be coming soon too i promise but yeah for now this is super like at home just kind of chat with me if you want to stick it on in the background um and just hear me ramble about my life at the moment then Hopefully this is for you. But anyway, I did actually buy some little tabletop fireplace things, like little, what are they called? Burner lamps, like, well, like a fire pit. It's like a mini tabletop fire pit. That's the only way I can describe it. I got them on Amazon. I saw them on Chloe Rose's Instagram story and they're really, really cute, but they are like a burner lamp. So it's got like a little pot in the middle. I'll link them in case you're interested because I think they do give off some heat. And obviously it's really nice weather at the moment and we're eating outside a lot more, but it does get cooler in the evening. So I mainly got them for that, but you can actually put tea lights in them as well if you wanted to. So even if you use like citronella candles to keep the bugs away, I don't know. Um, I just think they're really like sweet looking on the table. So I'm gonna get some burner fluid from, or like lighter fluid from being cute tonight as well and then we've got brad's mum and dad coming over for dinner this evening so that is my plans today just not very much to film i have got a couple of bits that i want to show you guys i actually very kindly got sent some things from truly which is honestly one of my favorite homeware brands george introduced me to them well vanessa introduced me to them george's mum. um she bought some wine glasses from there like ages ago now and they are like my favorite wine glasses. They seem to be your guys' favorite because whenever I feature them, everyone's like, where are those wine glasses from? They're like the really gorgeous ribbed ones. Um, so I've got some more bits from them to show you guys, which I'm gonna show you in this vlog because I'm just so excited about that stuff and I can't believe they've like very kindly sent me some things because I've bought so much from there in the past because yeah, everything's just stunning. So I'll go through that with you guys in this vlog and I'm trying to think what else tomorrow is thursday this video is going up on friday and i'm getting my nails done on friday so maybe i'll take you guys along to that these are my current nails in case you've missed them they're just like 
little mint kind of tips with the little flowers on them. I think I'm gonna go back to these ones. I'll insert a clip of, or a picture of my last ones. I think the set before these. They were just like a really cute kind of like abstract line design. And I think I'm gonna get that, but in baby pink and white, or maybe like baby pink and hot pink. I don't know. I will take you guys along to that and we can see what my next set ends up being. But yeah, that's kind of all I've got going on this week, I think. Um, I don't think I've got anything too exciting going on tomorrow. Oh, we've got a guy coming to chop down some trees. That's really not that exciting, is it? But the weather's meant to be nice, so I thought I'd just pick up the camera if I am doing anything. Um, or yeah, just kind of think of something that I need to update you on. But otherwise, I hope you're all good. Um, I hope you are enjoying the weather and like lockdown completely easing. Well, not completely, but a lot more than it has. I hope you're out living your best lives. I definitely have been. I've been like chilling in the sun seeing family seeing friends like just loving life again which i am very happy about so yeah i hope you're doing the same and i'm very excited to be back on my channel this generally feels a bit weird but i've actually been meeting quite a few out like i've been in london a couple of times and i've met like so many of you which is still so surreal to me but it makes this like so much more personable and i absolutely love it so yeah i'm excited to be chatting again um i know i talk a lot so i'm very sorry about that i think i'm gonna go downstairs and grab the truly stuff that I have to show you guys and go through that at the start because I just feel like a lot of you might be interested and then yeah we'll kind of see what I get up to by the way if you're interested this little dress I think is from ASOS I saw it on Ellie Jarrett last year um and I picked it up then so I'm not sure if they'll still have it in stock but it's super cute it's like a little pinstripe detail if not I'm sure they'll have something similar so I'll try and hunt for something I need more cute little dresses because it is really hot and I think it's meant to stay like this. So if you have any good places to get cute little summer dresses, then let me know. Because I'm kind of loving them at the moment, I'm not going to lie. They're giving me like proper holiday vibes. Yeah, now the weather's good. I feel happy. Although it has brought on hay fever, as you can probably tell from my voice. I literally sound like a man at the moment. But that's just hay fever for you. Anyway, I really, really am rambling. So let me go and grab that stuff and we can go through it. And then I think we're going to make our trip to being cute. Fun life of an adult love that okay i just grabbed the box from downstairs but my all neutrals parcel just arrived as well so if you don't know aisha and zelia have just launched a clothing brand which is literally so exciting so i thought i'd just show you through the pieces that i got um and i'll link them obviously in the description box but let's quickly go through the trudy stuff and then we can get into the clothes honestly i can't even tell you how good the quality of this stuff is like i'm very excited by that um but yeah let's start with this so i will insert a clip now of the wine glasses that you guys may have already seen on my channel like i say i always get asked about them um, and i use them all the time but they are like the i think they're the red wine glasses they do have a smaller version for white wine but i just use those big ones for like rosé red white like the bigger the glass the better so yeah they're the ones that i have that you guys may have seen like i say but they also have some little like i think they're meant to be like champagne flutes i can't remember exactly what the term is i think those types of glasses were like molded from someone's boob <laughs> i think i don't think i'm making that up i think it was like a queen oh i don't know there's some story about like you know those champagne flutes that are very like great gatsby vibes they were molded on someone's literal tip <laughs> so that's a fun fact but i also have those i use those as like cocktail glasses so again i'll insert a little layer of a clip of those and i'll leave a link for them in case you want something other than this but these are the next set of four glasses that i picked up honestly brad like every single time i buy new glasses he literally wants to kill me because we have so many but I don't know what it is like some people collect mugs I clearly collect alcoholic beverage glasses like I have way too many but these are their gin glasses and they are just beautiful like I couldn't not have them and I feel like I now I think I have the full set like apart from the wine glasses I have pretty much every other one that they have on the website so I thought I'd add these to the little collection but I mean look at them like they are so just pretty like i think they are such a gorgeous looking glass they're also a really nice size like i think the wine glasses are actually a little bit like bigger than this but i think for like a gin or again like a cocktail or even wine these are just such a nice size i just love the kind of like pleated or the fluted effect that they have going on so yeah you get a set of four i think 
they're around like 30 pounds for four which i think is a really reasonable price they're really good quality they're also not too thin like i don't love a thick wine glass I literally don't know who I think I am right now, but I don't love like a thick wine glass to drink through. I love the glass being like a little bit thinner, but these aren't too thin that I'm like terrified to wash them. And like, they just feel a bit brittle when they're really thin. So yeah, these are like perfect. Um, and yeah, I think around 32 pounds, like I say. So of course they'll be linked. Cute set to add to the Evergrown collection. They also come really nicely packaged as well in like these boxes. Um, and then they're all separated in there. So nothing is ever damaged. Like I've ordered quite a few times, like I say, and I've never had an issue with anything being damaged at all. So sticking with kind of like kitchen stuff, these, this I bought, I think at like Christmas time, I bought these as serving bowls. Um, I've also used them as like mixing bowls. They're just a really good like dish to have in the cupboard, like super useful. But these are like the bigger version. Again, love the ribbed effect. Um, I got three of them and we use them over Christmas. I've used them for so many things, like I say. So these are such a must for the kitchen. They're also really nice as like a fruit bowl on the side. I just love the design. They also have like a speckled kind of detailing going on. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Love those, but I saw that they have a little baby version on the website. I didn't see these before because I feel like I would have picked like some of these up as well if I had of, but I've now got one. Um, I am gonna jump back on there and get a few more because these are really good for like crisps and dips or like nuts or olives or something. I mean, that's quite a big bowl for olives, but I also thought if you love your pasta, <laughs> like love your pasta, this is like a hefty sized pasta bowl. Like if you did wanna have them as actual like serving bowls, then you could, um, or like bowls that you eat out of. Um, then they'd be like a really decent size for that. But yeah, they just look so cute like together. It's like the bigger version and the baby version. I just thought they were adorable. But this is the one that they very kindly sent over. Like I say, I'm gonna get more because they are just really useful to have. They're also dishwasher safe, which is great because I'm lazy and I dishwasher everything. But that is kind of like the kitchen stuff, I think. And then I picked up a couple of their like, I wanna say beauty products. They have a few like candles on there. Um, some things just for the bathroom really and like self-care things so first of all I picked up this which is their bath powder which I've never heard of before like I've never heard of any brand come up with a bath powder wow that was very satisfying packaging oh my god <laughs> I feel like I should be showing you guys this like everything is just so nicely packaged the quality is incredible so this I believe you kind of use it as like a bubble bath i want to say i think it does like foam up so it says it is a support soporific soporific i think i've butchered that um blend of soothing clay sage chamomile and lavender infused with bitter and sweet orange patchouli patchouli and coriander with a natural slumber for a natural slumber, sorry. So obviously if you're having like a bath before bed, you can just pop this in. I believe that's what you do. Um, and it just makes the bath smell incredible. Oh, here we go. Sprinkle a scoop to your running bath water. The nourishing powder will fizz and dissolve as the natural oils released will moisturize your body. Oh my God, that's so interesting. So this is what it looks like. Container, I think, is glass. So again, quality feels really lovely. It's not like a plastic little pot. Tangent, but unpopular opinion i mean the smell is incredible but it was my mum's birthday back in like april but i bought her the laura mercier um like honey bath gel you know the one that comes with like the little honeycomb thing and also the moisturizer the smell is incredible but i was kind of disappointed that the pot was just like this flimsy plastic pot I don't know, I was expecting it to be glass. It's like 45 quid, it's not cheap at all. So I love when things are like, I don't know, like the packaging says a lot about the product and I just prefer like glass things rather than like a squishy plastic container. So anyway, love the fact that this is glass. Um, comes with a little wooden scoop, which is also super cute. So yeah, I think you literally just sprinkle this in your bar. Oh my God, it smells. Oh my God, it smells incredible like literally like i've just walked into a spa oh, i love that smell so much i think i'm actually gonna put can i put the scoop in there oh it's like creamy it feels like the texture of it is like um i don't know it's like kinetic sound or something i don't know if that's me going crazy but it feels that kind of texture so i'm really intrigued by that i'm gonna put that on the little ledge that we have in the bath 
and give that a go soon but how incredible like just so indulgent so luxurious that like if you want a bit of self-care check out something like this and then to kind of go with it i did buy some foaming bath and shower oil so again i think it's just it's like a bubble bath but it's just a lot more nourishing with it being an oil it has exactly the same ingredients in it so the clay sage chamomile lavender all of that um again packaging is beautiful this one is in a plastic container but it is a little bit different as bath oil so i don't really mind that um so yeah foaming bath and shower oil probably has exactly the same smell i want to say oh, yeah oh my god so beyond dreamy so again just add to running bath water or use directly on wet skin oh that's interesting for extra foam squeeze onto a sponge cute so i want to try that as well i think these two would just pair so nicely together and they also look really cute like in the bathroom so that is their kind of like bathroom section of the website they have so many different sections they also have clothing um they have some really lovely pajama sets that i kind of like the look of so i think i might treat myself to some of them like gorgeous satin pajamas and stuff another thing that i did very kindly get which i was not expecting because it is kind of expensive like it's a bit more of an investment piece but something that will go in our house forever like we can move it around the house it is a gorgeous decorative kind of tray i've put it on the footstool in the lounge for now but i think it will probably move like maybe into the kitchen or something like i said it's just a really gorgeous like neutral color so it can basically go anywhere um with like some brass handles so i'll overlay a little section here of what the candles look like on it and stuff but i absolutely love that it is literally amazing like the quality again is stunning and i can't wait to kind of have that in the house forever and just like decorate it with different things and stuff so yeah that is everything that they very kindly sent over to me huge shout out to truly thank you guys so much for sending these pieces out i don't think they had any idea how much i love their brand before they very kindly messaged me because yeah i've been buying from them for a while i've become obsessed ever since vanessa introduced me to those glasses so i guess a shout out to vanessa as well i absolutely love them i generally couldn't recommend them enough and yeah i'm very excited that they wanted to send me some pieces so i will link all of the items individually down below but i'll also link their website if you just want to kind of have a browse and see what they have to offer that is the homeware kind of section done let's very quickly move on to these clothes that i bought i was about to say sent over but i did um want to support my girls and i bought a few things they also did send me a pr package which i think might be downstairs so i have got another little set it's one of their like ribbed bralettes and legging sets so to go with that i did actually pick up one of their blazers these are like guys they're like 45 pounds they're obviously an investment piece like a blazer is such a staple in the wardrobe but without breaking the bank like zara blazers can be about 60 pounds and pretty much be the same quality so i am very happy with this i did get this in an xl i might insert some website images on screen i'll ask girls if i can nick the website images and i'll put them this side um so you guys can see what these pieces look like on because i am in a little bit of a rush but i did get this in an extra large because i wanted to wear it with that matching like ribbed set that i have i just think that'll be so nice on a night out and then obviously you can't go wrong with a black blazer anyway so this is such a staple to have in the wardrobe obviously all of the colors by the name of the brand um are very neutral they have like sand colors which i'll show you in a sec and some really gorgeous just like more muted toned down pieces which i personally love like that is literally my wardrobe anyway yeah anything you get is like a staple and you can wear time and time again so that's the blazer then i picked up again like not a matching set but i did get these two pieces to kind of go together but i got one of their little sweaters so this is obviously in the kind of tanned color and it has all neutrals just written across the front here embroidered which i love because it means that it's not gonna like wear or anything so you can wash this time and time again and that will still be there so i got this in an xl for like a really super oversized fit i feel like sweaters and these little shorts which i'll show you next are just such a cute little spring outfit for when it's like a little bit cooler so i picked that up that would also go nice with some gray joggers or like cream joggers or something and then like i said i did get these little shorts i think these are like little boxer kind of style cycling shorts so they're a really nice length they're like not too long but definitely not too short love the kind of stitching details going on these are super cute as well the material of this stuff is so soft like so thick really stretchy as well like it just i saw this stuff in person before they released um like the website and everything and launched the entire thing but i was like blown away like i didn't want to be really surprised in front of the girls because obviously i was expecting it to be good but i was like 
in shock like it was great i saw everything on the hangers and i was like you guys have literally smashed it like they really have um just the quality is incredible of all of this stuff so they are the little shorts and then i did pick up this really kind of basic piece but again such a staple for my wardrobe especially for the summer and the springtime i got this really cute little kind of racer top it's like a Zara staple I would say this really reminds me of the Zara ones that they have um but it's in this really gorgeous like rotor material again super soft I don't think it's see-through at all I haven't actually tried this stuff on yet but it's really thick material so I'm sure it's not and then I feel like these might be my favorite like items in the entire line because firstly I'm going to get so much more out of them and secondly again the quality the detailing everything like everything is thought about with these bodysuits like everything you want out of a bodysuit is in these so again the color literally so beautiful it's like this kind of i want to say like a mauvey kind of color but more on the gray scale so again very neutral um very muted very toned down gonna go with literally everything i thought this would be stunning i love the one shoulder i think it's absolutely amazing i thought this would be stunning with some white wide leg trousers but then light blue jeans like you could pair this with anything accessorize it with like bags um different jewelry and stuff just such a great piece to have. I saw Sarah Holder wearing this and she looked flipping incredible. So I've got high hopes for this one. And then I love this color so much. So I thought I'd get another style of the bodysuits, but this one is like their kind of t-shirt design. I think these are so cute for like a date night with again, some jeans. They're just super casual to wear. And obviously just such a staple again, because you can style it multiple different ways. So that is everything I got this time round. Um, I feel like I might be back on the website very soon because there are more colors that I love. Like I feel like I want this bodysuit in every single color because I just think I'm gonna wear that so much. So I'll link all of those items in the description as well. But guys, if you're watching this, you know how proud I am of you. Um, you have absolutely smashed it. And I'm very excited to see where this all goes. Very excited for the future. My friends do great things, like honestly. I'm proud of all my friends like they really do insane things and I'm very happy for them but yeah I am now gonna head to being cute I'm not sure when I'm gonna speak to you guys next obviously like I said we have Brad's parents coming over this evening so we're just gonna have a super chilled evening in the sun I literally can't get over this weather it makes me so happy but yeah I'll speak to you maybe tomorrow um and catch up with you a bit more and yeah I'm just happy to be back. Honestly, I'm happy to be vlogging again. Brad's probably happy that I'm talking to someone else other than him. Honestly, we're having a great time. Anyway, speak to you in a bit. Yeah, I just really wasn't feeling it yesterday. I feel really run down with hay fever, which I know to some people that don't suffer with it probably sounds really silly, but I promise, like, if you do have to deal with it, you'll feel me on this. Like, it is not, I don't know, it just really runs you down. Like, my eyes feel heavy. I feel so, like, blocked up. Like, all my sinuses just feel horrible. I don't want to moan about it, but it definitely puts me in a little bit of like a bad mood sometimes so that was kind of my day yesterday um and when i feel like that i don't really want to like force myself to do things because i know it's just not going to be to the best of my ability so i just kind of like took the day to rest a little bit and yeah just like tidied up my spaces so if you ever feel like that if you feel like super unmotivated or a little bit run down a certain day then at least do like something to help your future self as such so like i knew i'd wake up this morning and feel so much better that my office is clear and like I'm gonna be able to film today so that's kind of what I did and I definitely do feel better for it so yeah I'm currently in the car because I literally just dropped Brad off to play golf with my cousin so that's what he's doing today he's got the day off work um, so I think they're gonna catch up and just play around a golf so I'm now heading to get my nails done and then I'm gonna meet one of my bestest friends M for some lunch 
um, and just catch up with her and chill and then I need to go back and actually film the video that I meant to film yesterday that is a pretty little thing haul which I think is going up on Sunday as you're watching this so I'm hoping you're watching this on the day that I'm filming this bit like on Friday um, if I manage to get back and like get it edited and stuff in time but I'm sure I will but yeah that is kind of my plans for today these again are my nails at the moment they're just the really cute like floral design I keep seeing so many of you you always send me pictures of like when you use my nails for inspiration and I honestly nothing makes my day more like I love the fact that you guys get like matching sets with me so I saw a girl sent me a message yesterday and she had got these um, but I'm now gonna change them I think I am gonna go for like the baby pink kind of like background with the lines in like a hot pink i think that'll be really cute and just a little bit more simple so that i think is what i'm gonna go for but obviously i'll show you once they're done and then yeah i'm gonna have lunch so i'll just take you guys along with me on my day today and we can see what we get up to right i've just got to my nail appointment but i'm kind of early so i thought i'd just go on to my pinterest page and show you guys exactly what nail design I'm gonna go for. I do have like a whole Pinterest board on nail inspiration. That is like where I get all my ideas from. We kind of tweak them a little bit and sometimes Claire just comes up with like a really cute design, but most of the time I get them on Pinterest. So if you're looking for inspo, that's where you need to head. By the way, this little set is from Urban Outfitters. It's from this brand. And then I've got like the matching shorts on. And then this little top that I have underneath is also from Urban. Um, but yeah, let me show you the colourway that I want to go for because I think I would have already put a picture on screen of like the actual design. But oh god, there's people everywhere in this car park. Um, this oh my god, did I not save it? I don't think I saved it. Oh, that's so annoying. I thought I'd saved it, but I haven't. I guess I'm just gonna have to show you guys like when I get out but if you do want a little bit of inspiration I'll show you like a couple that I really love that I'm probably going to get very soon I'm loving like all of these just like different pastel colors I think they're so cute and then love these only thing is I tend to save like um almond shaped designs but I always get square shape I just think they suit my fingers a lot better so we kind of just adapt these and like make them a square shape obsessed with these I feel like they might be my next ones because I do love them and these little daisies how cute are they i also love doing that with like different color pastel hearts um a load of home stuff <laughs> i need to update you guys so much on the home like i know i've been so bad with it um but i promise i'll do like a dedicated video very soon talking all things home because hopefully some of you miss it i mean i miss talking about it like a lot um because it used to be such a big part of my channel and I, I don't really know what happened honestly like i think to be honest i think i was feeling a little bit let's have a little deep chat while we're waiting to go and get our nails done i think i was feeling a little bit of the pressure of like having a perfect home and like having things done like the next week like i, I know i've said to you guys that we're doing a lot to the house and we're doing a lot of renovations and stuff but for us that's like a really long-term thing and it's not something that's happening like that like we don't obviously have the funds for that it's a lot of money it's a big investment and also with it being covid and stuff like no builders are free like asap we do have the porch being built i think next month actually um so that's like one small little change that's going to make a big difference and we're also doing the downstairs bathroom so i feel like there's now things that i can show you guys and you'll see like an an actual change so i feel like i was just doing loads of videos and everything kind of looked the same let me know your thoughts because i know there's obviously things i have changed there's new things i've bought for the house there will be things that look completely different to when you last saw it so i'm going to do like a big update video maybe ask you guys on instagram if you have any like specific questions and answer it all in that video i'm really sorry i sound so ill right now it's honestly just my hay fever um but yeah that was kind of like why the house content sort of dropped off i guess i just was feeling the pressure of like it being so amazing all the time and like realistically that's not what happens when you move house like we i'm sure most of us have moved house at some point and you know that you don't necessarily then have the funds to just like buy something new every single week and make it look so different just for your content like just for content sake do you know what i mean so yeah nothing too serious honestly it's not like the house fell down and i just didn't want to tell you guys like everything's absolutely fine um i just thought it was getting a little bit repetitive and then i didn't really know where to pick it back up so i changed my office a lot like there are rooms like i say that have changed quite a bit since you would have last seen it so we can start with those 
and go from there but let me know in the comments actually if you are if you're missing the home content because i know a lot of people like a lot of people found my channel through like my moving vlogs and um my house tours and stuff so i feel like you guys enjoyed it i just don't know um so please let me know and obviously there'll still be like hauls and everything like that i really want to get like properly back on my youtube game hopefully me and george are going to be filming together very very soon like super soon actually we're hopefully gonna film some videos next week so we're gonna get back to like our joint hauls our say or shot it it's like things like that um which is just the funnest videos ever to film and i feel like you guys might enjoy them more because we're like able to be ourselves like bounce off each other and you just get to see us being our usual stupid selves basically but um yeah that is a little ramble as i'm waiting for my nail appointment i suppose i just wanted to say like i hope very soon you guys will see a massive difference in my channel and the content will be back up to where it kind of used to be i guess i really want to get back on it and start filming some really fun and good content again um which i'm excited about and it's quite motivating but anyway i will leave you guys to it and i will see you again when i have my nails done and i'll show you what they look like a woman has just pulled up next to me thinking that i'm about to leave but i'm not and it's really awkward and now I'm gonna have to get out of the car. She's indicating into this space. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the car um, and just go and wait in the salon because this is hella awkward. I am out of my nail appointment. This is what my nails are looking like. Look how cute. So I got just like a pink, like a hot pink outline with obviously the baby pink in the middle. And then I actually decided to put like a white line. I'm obsessed with them. Like I absolutely love them. They're really giving me summer vibes. So that is what we went for i feel like i'm gonna stick to this design for quite a while i'm not gonna lie like i do love it so i think next time i go i'm gonna do like a blue variation and then like an orange variation i don't know i'm kind of obsessed with it so yeah i'm now about to go and head to another car park um to like a shopping center and meet up with em for some lunch i don't know where we're going but i'll try and film some bits and take you guys with me but i wanted to show you these Look how cute. By the way, if you don't know, I go to Claire. She's based in Halston. <laughs> Just ran out of storage, but yeah, she's based in Halston. I'm gonna leave her Instagram link down below in case you wanna go and follow her, even just for like some nail inspiration because she is insanely talented and great at what she does. But there's loads of people here. So I'm gonna put my camera down and make my way over to me and for some food. Okay, I'm back again. I'm really sorry I didn't properly vlog anything in there. Like we were just catching up. I just think I wanna put a little insert bit in here i was actually watching um charlie jordan's smoke smoke and roses smoke roses can't remember what it's called but she basically smokes a hell of a lot of something that begins with w um because obviously it's legalized in california um and i'm newly like obsessed with her i don't know why but like i'm obsessed with watching her videos i generally think she's like quite a cool person but i don't know i'm just obsessed with her um and i was watching her show with tana mojo's like friends and hunter if you know tana mojo you obviously know hunter he set up a company recently this is such a tangent from what i wanted to say but he set up a company recently that's called or it's like items of clothing that on the back it says have you checked on your friends or check your friends are okay or something and i just thought it was really cool and i also think it is very very true so i'm just gonna put in here like check on your friends yeah it's important i think we all forget that like especially because i'm super busy at the moment like i have so much to catch up on and life can be very stressful but your friends and your family are always a priority and you've always got to check that everyone's okay so that's your reminder for today anyway i'm gonna get out of this car park because it is really hot in this car it's currently 26 degrees today but it's that typical like uk weather where the sun is not out and it's just muggy so that's fun <laughs> um so yeah i'm sweating so i'm gonna get a move on go and pick up brad because he's now finished golf and then head home film my video edit this one get it up i've got a lot to do but i'm full of wag numbers so i'm very happy right now hi i am home i have been for a little while i've literally just finished editing this vlog but i realized i never ended it so i thought i'd quickly come on here and say thank you so much for watching i am fully aware of how kind of chatty this was i know i was literally in the car for like probably 75 percent of the video so i'm really sorry about that but it's just where i kind of chat to you guys like when i was on my own i could just properly catch up with you so if you are interested in what's kind of going on in my life i hope this helped i feel like i still have a lot to update you guys on but we will get there i will vlog a hell of a lot more like especially when i am at home and i can just like chat to you guys like this i've really enjoyed it i hope you guys have too please let me know in the comments if you want me to like 
literally shut up a bit or if you want to see more of these i really will not be offended either way i promise um so yeah i'll chat to you guys in the comments i'm literally going to be down there right now um if you're watching this when it goes live so leave me a comment and we can have a little chat but otherwise thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you guys very soon in my next vlog or my next video subscribe if you're new and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>